Hola amigos, como estas? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back. We got another beer review today, but it is Cinco de Mayo. Let's go, everybody. Happy Cinco de Mayo. We're going to get into another beer review here, but hopefully you guys enjoy your day. Whether you guys into the tequila, the cervezas, it don't matter as long as you guys are vibing, having a good one. We're going to get right back into the final um, first season of the beer review series. This is the last beer I got before we go and pick up some more and do another haul. Um, lots of great beers. I have high expectations for this one. It's probably going to remind me a lot of the, uh, the LA Vice. That one was really good. Has some bananas, cloves, super hazy, super enjoyable beer. Probably my favorite out of the, uh, the whole um, haul that we did so far. Uh, of these first about six, maybe five, six or seven beer reviews now. But we'll get into it. Starburst was pretty good too, but we got hopes for this one. Maybe it'll take the park, take the cake for that LA Vice. Why I relate it to that is because we got Weather Vein here, which is a Hefeweizen by Bomber Brewing. Looks pretty cool, pretty cool. Ken, 4.7%. Now, let's hear about it. Sweet with subtle spice. This balanced Hefeweizen has banana, clove, and pepper notes, maybe making it a light and sessionable favorite. So... Pretty basic, pretty good. Hopefully they nail it on the head. Let's see how Bomber Brewing does with their uh, their weather vane here. Let's get into it. I'm super excited because these beers are my favorite and are up my alley, the banana and clove ones. Let's pour it, smell it, taste it, review it, baby. Oh wow, it's quite dark. It's not very hazy at all. It looks more like a beer than uh, really like a, a cloudy, hazy Hefeweizen. So that's pretty cool. Pour it out a little harder here because it's really not getting any foam. Oh, I see a little bit of sediment there. Maybe I should have swished the bottom a little bit, but I think we're okay. <clears throat> Some cloves coming up there. All right, let's set her down and give her a taste. Yeah, look at that. It's uh, I expect it to be a little bit more hazier. It kind of is a bit, but not super cloudy. Let's see what uh, our aromas are like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, so you're getting that uh, banana cloves, very nice, wow. Kind of smells like, uh, I don't know if anybody had the far white half of and that's kind of like that too. Uh, one of my favorite beers, the LA Vice was really good with the bananas and cloves, it's so uplifting, refreshing, citrusy almost, but the banana and cloves has such a distinct aroma. It's definitely uplifting and definitely intriguing. Let's see how it goes on the palate, baby. Yes, dude. Wow. Oh my God. Super enjoyable. Super, super easy to drink. It's very medium. It basically has the same body as like a regular beer almost, but the flavor of the bananas and the cloves, it's it's higher than any other beer that I've had before. So it's usually pretty subtle. You can taste it, but I'm really getting a light, refreshing punch of banana on my palate, which is really nice. I like that. It's such an easy beer to drink. It's really nice. It goes down easy. I like it. I love that taste of banana. Not too much spice. Um, it's very sweet on the palate. I like it. It's very nice. I really like this beer. Pretty good. But, uh, hmm, I'd have to have hand in hand that LA Vice and this. But I think this one has a lot more of that flavor. It's coming out. It's easy to drink. It's pretty refreshing. And just like, it looks like a normal beer you'd enjoy on a patio on a nice hot summer day. And, um, yeah, it's very, lots of high notes. Very up, up uh uplifting and refreshing mm. oh yeah dude Ugh. oh yeah wow no that's that's amazing that's that's top-notch shit dude it's pretty pretty refreshing pretty easy it's not too much it's can't get better than that. Nice and simple. Amazing flavor. The highest flavor and taste there is that banana. <clears throat> it almost tastes like those little banana marshmallow candies. Wow. I hinted that, but not too, not too strong. Just enough. 
Really enjoyed that. That was amazing. I'm giving this a solid... Pff, why not? 9.7. 9.7 out of 10, baby. Let's go. Damn, that's pretty good and refreshing. Good job, Weather Vane. Good job. Uh, Bomber Brewing on this Weather Vane. Hefeweizen. Super good. I like it. Enough said. Pretty easy review there. I loved it. Beautiful. Amazing. Delicious. Say no more. Say no more. Love the bananas in there. Got that good flavor right off the bat. The aroma. Delicious. 9.7 out of 10. And um, hell yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming on in. Uh, we're going to go get some more beers. Maybe some drop some comments down below. Maybe a kind of IPA craft beer you like me to review. <clears throat> After I go on my next little haul here. Damn, that one was good. Definitely second favorite. Starburst, LA Vice, really good. Definitely in the top three of the, I think, six beers that we had. All right. Anyways, thank you guys so much. It's Cinco de Mayo again, so stay tuned. Baby, we got a big old stream. You can see we got set up already. And it's gonna be a f <laughs> it's gonna be a fiesta tonight. We're going to have we got tons of beers, got some soul cervezas. And uh, it's gonna be one to remember. So be there guys. You know when I go live. Usually 8 p.m. mountain time. And then I'll see you guys on Friday on the Lit Lab, baby. And see you for more beer reviews. Hope you guys are enjoying. Thank you guys so much for your support and watching. Love you guys so much. Stay tuned tonight. We're going ham, baby. We're getting silly. We're getting weird. We're, tuning, we're turning up on a little Mexican fiesta. All right. Cheers, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Love that beer. Really great. 9, 7 out of 10. Until next time. Channel accepted out, baby. Peace.